five reasons why wagons are better than SUVs. My name is Devon. This is Moto News on Turbotron Incredible. Number one, they look better. Flat out. Modern wagons, or estates if you want to be classy, have a way of oddly looking just as good and in some cases even better than their coupe or sedan counterparts. I mean, just look at the Ferrari shooting brake, the Corvette shooting brake, they look amazing. And then look at what GM was proposing for the Corvette SUV. But see, it's disgusting. Take a look at the Audi RS4 or the RS6, or better yet, the Mercedes E63 AMG. In sedan form, it's sublime. Elegant, yet rowdy. Elongate the roof line, throw on a hatch back there, and you have the recipe for a sexy family Batmobile. Number two, they perform better. They feel better. We all know that the center of gravity either makes or breaks a vehicle's driving dynamic. And needless to say, the SUV's ultra high ride height literally kills any chance of a good driving dynamic feel. Then, tack on the fact that most SUVs are even more useless due to them being front wheel drive on top of that. Whereas, in most cases, wagons come standard all wheel drive and rear wheel drive. Number three, more usable space. What I mean by that is, since wagons have a lower center of gravity, it's easier to climb in and out of, which makes it easier to load stuff in and take stuff out of. Makes it easier for mothers and other highly challenged people, not saying that all mothers are highly challenged, but it makes it easier for the average person to get in and out of the vehicle as well as to load stuff in and out of their vehicle, which is the entire reason why people buy SUVs is because they want to move people or stuff around. Why not make it easier on yourself? Get a wagon. It's lower. It'll work less. We all know that most owners of SUVs are mundane or sensible people of some sort. Uh, where crossover SUVs are typically based on an existing platform with a raised, usually an oddly squished body Wagons can come with an extended wheelbase that allow not only for more cargo space, it also allows for a better greenhouse effect. That feeling of being in an extra roomy room, even on the inside, while still looking good. Number four, they have a smaller overall footprint when compared to an SUV. Wagons are cars with elongated, sometimes widened wheel arches or bodies, whereas SUVs and crossover SUVs are generally taller and bulkier to fit the SUV profile. This means that side by side, wagons are typically only a few inches larger than the car it's based on, allowing it to feel and fit in just about all the same ways that the similar car, that, that the normal car would. Something could be said for the small crossover SUVs and the micro SUVs, but then again, why are you buying an SUV? You may as well just buy a small car. Number five, your cool uncle drove one. We all had that cool uncle growing up that had the awesome wagon, couldn't wait to get in and take on a road trip or to go out to eat in. From the awesome viewfinder worthy rear fold down seats brought to market by the Volvo V70, to the tear the tarmac to shreds performance, Wagons come to party, and they come ready to bring the whole family along for the ride. Did we mention they look better? Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video and share it with your friends. What's your favorite wagon out there? Mine would have to be the Audi RS6 or an E39 BMW Touring converted to an M5. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks again, and go out there and do something awesome. Peace.